Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm back with a new video where I'm gonna tell you very very quickly about some new releases that actually tested. Um, actually I have right now two perfumes on my skin because I went out today and I've tested a couple of fragrances um, and to be honest right now what's been released doesn't really impress me. I have one maybe two perfumes that I really really like but all of the other ones are just okay but nothing i don't know too exciting um just want to let you know maybe i don't know you saw um on instagram or on youtube and maybe you're thinking to blind buy it i'm gonna let you know what i feel uh, what i think how i feel about them and all of that so before we start if you like this video don't forget to do a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in the first fragrance that we have in here is from elisab from the Girl of Now collection, and you know that I really like Girl of Now. This one is Girl of Now Lovely. Um, I've tested it a couple of weeks ago, I believe, and I really liked it. It's Girl of Now, but then in the opening you have something crisp, something fresh, without necessarily being like citrusy. I think it has uh, some pear, it has some mandarin orange, it has some mint. For me, it wasn't minty necessary to the point where like I don't like it I liked it like the opening was very crisp but not in a bad way I I, I I really liked it like I really really liked it I feel like that's gonna be amazing for spring and summer I need to test it again but I'm thinking like I'm thinking that um I'm probably gonna get a bottle maybe like just a 30 ml but overall I really like the scent I don't know exactly how it projects and all of that, but it was like pretty intense after I sprayed it. So yeah, that's a good one. Maybe go and try it. It's still very sweet. I would say it's similar to Girl of Now Forever, you know, the one that has raspberry and um, lemon peel. But this time, obviously it doesn't smell like raspberry because it doesn't have raspberry. But instead of raspberry, it's something, again, crisp as it is in Girl of Now Forever, but it's something fresher. Just a tiny bit minty, but I, I, I really liked it. So yeah, that's one that I'm thinking I'm planning maybe to buy in the future. The next one, from Giorgio Armani, for the, for, from the private collection, we have Indigo Tanzanite. I think this is how you pronounce it. I wanted to try uh, the magenta one. They didn't have a tester, so they had just this one. I really like the scent, okay? Is this ambery patchouli with a bit of almond. The patchouli is quite earthy. It's not dirty, but it's earthy. The amber reminded me a bit of Grand Soir from um, Maison Francis Courtesian. The only thing is, for me, it was a bit too masculine. Like, I really like the scent. I really, genuinely, I really like the scent, but I feel like it was a bit too masculine. Again, I can't really remember if it was, like, projecting or if it stayed on my skin, but the scent overall, I really like the scent. But it's not about the almonds. I was hoping it's going to be about the almond. It is not. It's mostly amber and patchouli. It's a very, very nice scent. Unisex, leaning more masculine, at least in my opinion. I still need to try the magenta one. I'm going to go again um, probably next week and see if they have the magenta one because I really want to try that one. But the indigo one is very nice, but again, a bit, more ma a, a bit too masculine for me. Next one we have. Oh, one that is beautiful and I actually have it on my skin. It's from Mise and Cyr, And this one is Ambre Mag Magic. I think it's Ambre Magic. It's stunning. Again, it's an amber scent. Um, but it's not the type of amber that I don't like. It's a very, very creamy amber scent. Almost like whipped cream and amber. My only issue is... Like, the bottle is beautiful, the scent is beautiful. My only issue is it doesn't project at all. Like, at all. I've tested a couple of fragrances. I have this one right here. It's been maybe like four hours and I can barely smell it. And for the price, it's, it's more expensive than their regular mise en -cire. I think the normal ones are 185 and this one, in, I'm talking in pounds. And this one, I think, is 220, 225. It's a bit too much. I know, I really like the scent. If this scent would project, maybe, maybe, but it doesn't project at all, at least on my skin. I've tested it today, I've tested it in the past twice, so in total three times, and um, yeah, it just doesn't project. 
it's it's a very nice scent if you like amber um ambery scents but not like that type of like fall winter super heavy dark amber if you like things like grand soir i think you're definitely gonna like this one because for me grand soir is not like a deep 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 amber and um, it's not like spicy smoky anything like that it's a very nice scent again doesn't project and it's extremely creamy, like it generally feels like it has whipped cream in it. So yeah, I really like it, but I'm not gonna buy it because it doesn't project. The next one, oh, from Fragrance Dubois. This one is Sorstice, I think is how you pronounce it. I've tested it today. I don't have it on my skin because I didn't like it, okay? I didn't like it. It has some neroli in it. Kind of smells like dead flowers, to be honest. I didn't like it. I, I just didn't like it. That's it. Um, I've tried other fragrances. I wasn't really crazy. I really like Sahra and I really like um, Oud Orange Intense. Love them. I love, love Oud June Intense. But yeah, this new release, the bottle is beautiful. The bottle is beautiful, but the scent... I don't know, maybe I, ha I have to try it on my skin, maybe I'm gonna go again and try it on my skin, but on paper it just didn't work for my nose, for me, no. Next one, oh, I have this one in here, and I need this one, but it's not the season for this fragrance, so I'm gonna wait probably. Gris Chanel and x from BDK. I obviously have the original Gris Chanel, I absolutely love that scent for me, it's perfectly unisex, it's more stunning on me, it's kind of more stunning on a guy, it's, it's just stunning. I couldn't find in my selfridges that's like closer to me, actually in the center where I work, they didn't have it, so I went to the other selfridges in town, in Manchester, and they had it. And it's just beautiful. It's stronger, darker, creamier, but it's definitely darker. It Gris Chanel for me is perfectly unisex. Green Chanel x rate it's leaning more masculine. I do not mind that. I really, really, really like the scent. The whole uh, scent profile I really like. But I feel like this, if Green Chanel you can wear it maybe also in the spring, maybe also in the fall time. Green Chanel x rate I feel like it's your winter scent. Like I said, darker, deeper, richer be more masculine and I, I'm pretty sure it has sandalwood and it's like creamier than the original that's similar I would not say they're like extremely different that they're pretty similar um but I like both of them now like I love both of them and uh, yes I'm planning to buy Grisha and Alex Ray because it's stunning it's beautiful but again even if you like if you are a woman and if you like the original maybe go and try it first because it might be a bit too masculine for you for me, it is not. I would wear it, but I can see how for some people it might be a bit too masculine. So, Christian Lex Rate, yes, 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 amazing new release. Next, we have, oh, from Killian. Um, this one is called Cologne Shield of Protection. Um, yeah, I've tested it and it smells like vitamin C um, supplements. It has orange and that's kind of it. It smells like artificial orange. I didn't uh, like it. It was not feminine or masculine. I don't know. It reminds me of Aqua di Parma Arancia di Capri. I know lots of people love that one. I hated that one. I had a bottle. Again, it smelled like vitamin C, like supplements. Same story for this one. I do not like it. I will not pay for it. It's just... It was a new release that like nobody knew about. Um, I didn't see like any post, anything. It's no, 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 no. As soon as I smelled it, I was like, "What is this? Is Killian? No, this can't be Killian. Yes, it's Killian." Um, so yeah, very disappointed with that one. But it is what it is. I don't like it. And the last one, um, like I said, I want this video to be very, very um short and quick. Uh, from Parfum du Marly, we have uh, I don't know what I wrote here. Haltan. Ha I'm gonna insert a picture in here. Um, I'm not sure if it's targeted as unisex or masculine. It's like in the like male unisex bottles. It smells very, very similar, in my opinion, to Oud for Greyness from Initio. A bit, maybe a bit more feminine and a bit more like turned down because for grain is like beast 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 mode it can be a bit too much for some people 
I really liked it. I really liked it. I feel like it had also like something a bit green in it. I really liked it. Um, but I'm gonna stick with my initial with for greenness because obviously I have a full bottle of that perfume. It's completely bismuth and I don't really need another one that smells pretty similar. So yeah, that's the last scent, new release um, that I've tested. I'm, I'm trying to find, I don't know if it's just like my local, I don't know, Selfridges or the other perfume, perfume departments that they don't really have new designer, like new releases. Because I couldn't find anything, like besides the girl of now, I couldn't find anything. So let me know if there is any new release that you want me to go and test and come back and tell you guys um, how I feel about that perfume and all of that. So yeah, that was it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, obviously don't forget with a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye bye.